people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, listen, man, I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be here in 2022 making this video, but I'm very happy, very pleased, and very satisfied in making this video. Now, as per yesterday, as per yesterday from the time I'm shooting this, Ring Magazine updated the Power of Pound list. And what did I see on Ring, Mag Ring Magazine's new updated Power of Pound list? I saw the return of the real TBE. That's right. He's 34 years old. The year is 2022. He's still competing in the super flyweight division. And Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez has returned to the Power of Pound list as Ring Magazine has put him number nine on their Power of Pound list. And I got to say, man, what a beautiful thing. Like, truthfully, if he gets knocked out his next fight, or the next two fights or whatever, I can I can be satisfied with his career because this this guy, you know, I was in San Diego a couple weeks ago to watch his fight against Julio Cesar Martinez, and he performed absolutely brilliantly against Martinez. Um, it was really uh, it, 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 we don't know because he, he's at he's, he's at that age now where on a fight by fight basis he could just get old overnight and fall off a cliff, but. It, it probably is going to be one of his last great performances, more than likely, because he's just at that age and there's not much boxing left in his career. But, man, we got to take some time to really appreciate the journey of Chocolatito, man, because um, a lot of fighters don't come back from what he came back from. I mean, to, to be the pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in boxing, to lose a controversial decision at a time where you lost your, your, your trainer, he died um, very, very briefly, then to get knocked out in your next fight, have the majority the lion's share of the boxing world completely turn their backs on you and write you off to go through all that and then to 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 build yourself back up to become world champion again to then defend the world championship belt fight your arch rival get robbed and get another loss in your record that shouldn't be there then to come back fight a young undefeated champion in his prime all right Yes, Martinez is smaller. Yes, he moved up. But this is a dangerous fight. And this is a fight that a lot of people thought that Chalatino was going to get old in. And not only did he beat Martinez, he, he still showed at this age that he is one of the best fighters in the world. So, man, uh, being the number nine power pound fighter in the world by Ring, Ring Magazine, by the way. Shout out to Ring Magazine. Being put number nine power pound on the ring ratings is, is everything. Because, um, you know, there's just, there's just not many fighters in boxing who, who could have came back from what Chalatino came, came back from. Um, you know, truth be told, right? Truth be told, there's about four fighters that are on the Ring Magazine Power Pound list that I think he's clearly better than, like guys like Josh Taylor, Earl Spence, Lomachenko, um, and a couple other guys. Like he's hey, now that he's like now that he's had a sustained run of success back at 115, uh, he's been champion. He's he's mixed it up with high level opposition and, and shown his level at his advanced age, showing the skills that he's showing from the from the punch output. To the knockouts to um the way he's tweaked his style to the defense the masterful uh art of parrying and and and, and, and and blocking shots without having to waste movement i mean there's just not many people in boxing point blank period if we're just talking about point blank pound for pound skills there's barely anybody if that maybe you could say one or two guys give or take but pound for pound skill wise to be fighting at his age at this level, at this weight class, is unheard of, and and he he's absolutely deserving of um of everything he's getting, you know, in boxing. And I'm glad to see him on the power of list again because truth be told, uh, this is where he's this is where he always should have been. This is where he should have never left. But you know, things outside the ring did affect his performance in the ring, and uh, he came up short a couple times, and that's okay. But it's not about how it's not about coming up short in life. It's about how you respond when things don't go your way. And a lot of fighters in boxing, they they have they, they they perform well when things go on their way. They perform well when the odds are stacked in their favor. But when when they get punched in the mouth, when they get knocked out, when they get dropped, when they go through some adversity, they don't really respond well. And Charlo Tito, throughout the whole entire course of his career, has shown time in and time out that not only does he respond to adversity, but he does his best when his back is against the wall and when people want to count him out. So, with that being said, with that being established. The, the, the real TB has returned back to where he belongs on the pound for pound list. And look, um, 
Right now, the only guy that he's above on the Ring Magazine Power Pound list is Kazuto Ioka. He's the number 10 Power Pound fighter. So if we're not going to get the Holy Grail of boxing, which is Inoue versus Chalotito, like I talked about recently, which I don't think it'll happen. It's a long shot. If we're not going to get that fight, then that needs to be the next fight because um, Gaio Estrada is a played out fight. We already, we already know who the better fighter is. It's, it's damn near... A universal a universal opinion that boxing most boxing fans share that Chalatito won both Gael Estrada fights. So let, let, let's freshen it up. Let, let's see something new. Like if we're not gonna get Chalatito versus um, like a Bam Rodriguez or an Oye, the bet the most logical option. I think the most logical option out of everybody at 115 is Kazuto Aoka because not only is it uh, another champion in the weight class, or not only is is it another chance for Chalatito to become. Um, a three-time super flyweight champion but it's also the number nine pound for pound ring magazine fighter against the number 10 ring magazine pound for pound fighter fighting for super flyweight supremacy so i want to see that fight next hopefully in the coming weeks and days we can get kazuta aoka on the channel along with his trainer ishmael salah so we can we can check the temperature on how on how they feel about the fight and um yeah you know we'll, we'll definitely do that but yeah that's that's the news man that's all i wanted to talk about was Charlo Tito, the real tbe the picasso of boxing the former pound for pound king of boxing and the current number nine ring magazine rated pound for pound uh fighter in the world nicaragua's very own roman gonzalez back on the list so uh, yeah give me your thoughts on that um let me know where you rank roman Charlo Tito gonzalez on the pound for pound list if you do at all and if you do rank him on the list let me know where you rate him personally for me I would actually have him a little bit higher than number nine. I would probably have him around like number five or six, something like that. But that's just me. But leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.